So yeah, N5TE, so this is actually looking quite promising. Hopefully, you know, they'll all be this simple. 100 meters ahead behind Gorse. Obviously Myrtle Rust arrived in New Zealand uh, around about 12 months or so ago. It spread rapidly across the country. What we're trying to do is work out at the moment how or what species are going to be affected by Myrtle Rust. So to do that we're collecting seed off a whole range of different Myrtaceae species, so from the family that's affected by Myrtle Rust. But if you go further up the stem of the tree then you get these ones here which um, are still closed up but they're just popping open so they're perfect for the seed. It'll be shipped to Australia to be grown in a facility in, in Queensland uh, where it will be exposed to myrtle rust under, under quarantine conditions and we can result, record the results of, um, of whether things are resistant or not. They've got very small scale-like um, seed. That one's just popped. So that's, that's what we're collecting. They're quite resistant, aren't they? These ones are absolutely perfect, they are ready to go. We've got some really strong relationships with a lot of Maori landowners through another program of work that we've been doing. So we already have built up a reasonably good trust relationship with a lot of those landowners to give them the comfort to allow us to actually take that seed and to send it to Australia for screening. We're collaborating with Plant and Food on this and a whole lot of other associated research programs. Um, and also Cyan are involved in this, uh, also providing material for screening and some other work streams involved. And actually it's all funded by MPI. Whilst a, a, a species, if you source the seeds from different locales, from what we call provenances, they would show quite remarkable differences in the levels of seedlings which showed resistance or susceptibility to murder rust in Australia. And that's what we're looking to find in New Zealand is seed lines, provenances, which show a lot of resistance because that gives us the basis for trying to do something going forward. So we do have to kind of try and cover as best we can the breadth of the country because uh, we do know that some species, particularly like Manuka, are quite variable across the country. So we do want to look at all that variation and we want to work across all the different Myrtaceae species that are out there. So there's a lot to, uh, to choose from and obviously we have some pretty iconic ones like Pahutakawa, Rata, uh, and so on, not to mention things like Fijoa. Um, it's spread across the country extremely rapidly, probably more so than, than I thought at least. Um, so it is imperative we get a lot of this done as soon as we can.